Hello everybody, my name is Cam9000 and welcome to Stellaris, new game from Paradox Studio, who also is releasing Hearts of Iron Fall the 6th of June on D-Day, which I'm also looking forward to from this studio and from uh, Creative Assembly with the Total War Warhammer. Now these are the three main games I'm going to make videos for, but this is the first one that has been released, so let's begin right away. We have Stellaris and I have made a human domain faction. Uh, Empire's main allows to appear on regular game instead of a random generator. Uh, no. Forbidden right now because we're going to play them. Now, what are we? We are a military dictatorship and we will only hold an election upon the death of our ruler. And we have better naval capacity and better uh, ship upkeep. It will be less. So that's very nice now we are militarists of course military di dictatorship so we're going to be militarist alliance is going to be a bit more expensive influ influence and we will gain more uh, influence from rivalry which is quite nice our armies is going to have 10 percent more damage which i love of course more damage who who don't want that and a pop modifier which is war happiness so our population is going to be happy when we wage war quite the opposite of uh, how i normally would play but let's do it and we are fanatic materialists so we output more physics uh, society and engineering which is uh, three different types of research which is quite good because we are human uh, we have enduring, so our leader is going to live 30 years longer, which is quite nice. Gain some more experience with them, and uh, hopefully, yeah, um, have some powerful leaders. We're going to be strong, so even more army damage. So we are at 30% of army damage, which is quite much. But also, we gain more minerals. Now, I have only watched uh, some videos of this game, and if you want to see some awesome YouTubers play this. I got three main guys that I um, look myself on YouTube. Go at them. There's going to be a, a link in the description. It's Quill18, Arumba, and Shen Shenrir. They are awesome YouTubers of strategy games and board games and stuff like that. And they also are playing Stellaris. So I have watched just a bit of their videos to get a basic understanding, but still have a ton to learn. Uh, right back to this we have red lasers instead of having nuclear missiles and kinetic weapon I say we go beam Star Wars just laser beams for the win We're going to have warp travel um, There are three different type. I can't remember them all But we're going with warp where it's generate this bubble as it says around the ship and then you jump and after that um, it has to have some time to turn it off or on depending on which way you are going but before you can leave or uh, leave a place it takes some time and before you can enter a place and start moving again it's going to take some time for the engine to be ready something like that uh, we're going to have mammalian ships uh, I would just call them human like yeah so let's select uh, 600 yeah sure let's say 3 and 17 yeah normal any is allowed they can do whatever they want we're not going to have iron man mode so i'm probably most likely going to die in this but sure let's go in the eon since the first primitive human communities took shape on the grassy savannas of earth our civilization has spread and prospered countless nations states states formed as we advanced through the technology ages, warring against each other until only one remained. Although the fighting was often brutal, those who survived nurtured a martial tradition that has prevailed to this day. Now after successful creation of several experimental subspace fields, the finest minds of the human domain have finished development of the first warp drives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. Our ruler is going to be Kiam, which is me, champion of the people and warlike. But they do, I have no idea, but I'm skill 4, 29, almost my exact age, which is quite good. And yes, got some crates, so let's begin. Welcome, Grand Marshal. I am and 
Shut this off. And yeah, let's just roll with it. Okay, so I have no idea how to see it. So this is Earth. Um, we got seven population, a little, lot of resources, great output. And our governor brings happiness, less construction time, uh, less of clearing blocks and building cost. That's a quite good leader. Um, so where is our capital? Power plan, planetary administration? I guess, yeah, that's gotta be it. So we output four minerals here and five, ten credits. That's, I think, a pretty good start. Now we have no army except for some ground forces. Uh, light, yeah, that's good. Okay, so that was our ships. And this is our fleet. We don't have a leader. Well, okay, so like this. Okay, so cool. Just like wondering, shouldn't there be some? Okay, so they are entering orbit of Earth, and I know that should reduce the uh, cost of um, the maintenance cost, which is quite good. Going to survey everything in this system, of course. We have Venus, Mercury, the Sun, Mars. Very cool. So, our ship has 70 in strength, which is quite poor, actually. Um, our construction ship can do much until we discover more, so we're going to wait on that. Um, yeah, that's our physics, so... Ah, one, two, three, four. Nice, 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 cool. Uh, physics research, cool. So, what are you? Voidcraft. Okay. Um, survey speed, blue lasers. Sonar panel, what? So it's going to give 3 and that's pretty good on a 5 tile, can get to 8, that's... But do we want to survey quicker? Well, we need to mount this as well. Going to with this uh, sonar panel, it's, it's going to help our planet grow a bit more, which I like. Military Fury, very nice. And that's nothing. Um, ooh, more lifespan, more food, sure. And engineering. I think we're going to take the chief one, defense platforms. But you'll like, oh, just longer age, very cool. Um, this is our empire, our governor, population. Can yeah, lead us? Okay, so our governor. Yeah, very cool. And now many failures. Very nice. What about our leader? Like I had some traits. What 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 are they doing? No, nothing? Okay. Traits. I, w I would like to see my... There we go. So, our ship and army cost less due to I'm warlike. Very nice. And 10% happiness because I'm champion of the people. Hmm. <laughs> this leader appears to generally care about the subjects. Yeah. This leader does not shy away from conflict, reducing the seed planet and seed frontier outpost waterman cost. Very cool. Our democratics. Yeah, policies. We have some policies where we can enact some different edicts. Uh, not going to do that. Static is unaffected by the creation of water. Current water has no effect. Of yeah, it's going to be just static at the moment. Yeah, so we will have more um, military production depending on how our war score is 
just going to have it as static right now. Yeah, we're not going to allow slavery or purging of that. Um, yeah, we're going to say light. We're only going for military targets when we are migration, prohibited, prohibited. Voting rights, <laughs> nothing. Primary species, eh, we, nah. Oh, we cannot attack neutral. Well, nope. We want to do that. Or oh, be able to do that, at least. Yeah, I think that may be it. So here we go. So. This is our corvettes. We have three corvettes ready to venture out in the world. We have 200 credits, which I know isn't that much. Like a research uh, station to gain more minerals, cost like what is it, 90 minerals, I think. So it's basically like two places if we find any. So Saturn was quite boring. What about Titan, a frozen world? It's a gorgeous game, I think. So right now, nothing exciting is happening. Let's see, we can effectively control fire planets, okay. I know there are some f uh, system about when you gain a certain size, you're going to give it out to states or make it regions. Oh, two minerals. So let's get our construction ship, go here and Build a mining scene. Uh, only 81, which is probably due to um, the. No, it doesn't have. Maybe the general cost is down? I'm not sure. Luna, do we have anything on Earth? Or on the moon, I mean. Nope. But we're going to gain two more minerals each month. Yeah, mon monthly, I guess it is, which is quite good. Serving the sun. This is the map. So, okay. This is a quite vast place, so yeah, going to be interesting. <laughs> 45% Very good scanning speed To begin with Two more on Mercury, which is quite good. I'm quite happy about that We can always use more minerals like we need those to make buildings make ships everything Uranus Oh, we have been quite lucky, like we have six extra minerals in our starting area. I know for a fact that some has had less luck. Hostile fleet detected. Uh oh. Hostile Whoa, that's quite a lot. Please don't attack. I think we're just going to make more mining stations. So that fleet just went past us, I guess. It's not in our region, so I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, duck fleet, so it it costs less to run since it's in orbit on of Earth, which is quite good. Mm -hmm. 
So our second research station is getting made. Looking good. So <laughs> we've been extremely lucky so far. Like eight extra mineral in our starting starting area. Like I know for a fact I watched uh, I said three different YouTubers, but I know for a fact that Arumba was quite unlucky with his uh, starting area in the first campaign he has made. Probably going to make a new one soon because he has learned a lot. I think he said that on uh, Twitter or Facebook, something like that. But yeah, we've been very lucky. Like eight extra minerals it's insane like he had three planets i believe before he had plus 19 in income which we will gain pretty damn fast actually so yeah that's that's awesome let's queue it up might as well i'm going for the minerals first as you can see and as i said before the reason why is Everything costs minerals. To gain more minerals, costs minerals. It's it's very important to. Uh, oh, gain the label. Awesome. That was quite fast. But yeah, eight extra minerals uh, each month. It's going to get us to hit 19. So that's pretty damn cool. And then go to the f Juno the third, the three three Juno. I was I'm just going to call it Juno the third. Io had nothing, and I had can I meet the a Cal Calista and a Rupa. I doubt that Gas Giant has anything of value. Oh, it, yeah, it did. So, also a uh, five extra um, credits. That's quite potent for a starting world, would I say. We don't have that much. Uh, ooh. ooh, no risk. Go for it. Go, go. Might as well. Oh wait, we had plus 11, so not 19, we're going to have 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, plus 17 uh, in uh, minerals, but that's pretty good from one system, a single system. How far are you? I can't even see it here. That's kind of weird. I, I can see it's getting closer. Here I can see, but here I Hostile can't. fleet detected. No. You're just passing through. Situation. No, you did not. Evading hostile fleet. Pause, 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 pause. Oh, pause, pause. Have encountered an invasional fleet in sun. It's to invade them. No, 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 no. Yeah, I quickly passed by them. I'm sorry about that. No, don't. Don't run. Well. They are hostile. Wait, what? Evading hostile fleet. Okay, so we met our first enemy quite early. Don't like that. Go away. Warp to unknown. Okay, so it is warping away.
and you can go back to Earth. Okay, so got a bit of a scare right there, but we we're doing all right. We're doing quite all, all right. So our research is going on nicely. This is our ships. So they have a medium and a small laser. Yeah, so just building up, but this is going to be the episode guys. I want to thank you for coming and hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next one.